What's going on Royal Reliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 Seasons Speculation video. In today's video we're going to be speculating about a potential Revenge of the Sith DLC season for Battlefront 2 which was inspired by Rollickster on Twitter. Make sure to go and check him out, his links will be in the description below. But he made an image which made me think of this season. Before we get fully into this video though, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below what DLC seasons you would like to see for Battlefront 2. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance, be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content, and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But now, let's get onto the topic of this video. So the image you are seeing on screen is the piece of concept art that Rollickster actually made for a DLC season for Battlefront 2. You can see this would be DLC Season 3. It would be themed around Revenge of the Sith and you would get to choose your destiny and it's it's all made concept art. It's really cool but it looks pretty official there apart from obviously the concept art thing at the bottom and then his logo in the bottom right hand corner. I don't know why I said bottom but we're going to go with it. So this got me thinking. It got me thinking what would a Revenge of the Sith DLC be like for Battlefront 2? What would we get? What would we see in terms of maps? heroes, things like that. And the heroes I think we would get, one of them is on the concept art, are Obi-Wan and General Grievous. Now there are reasons for this because everybody wants to see General Grievous in Battlefront 2 at some point. And honestly, he is probably the coolest prequel era villain, that, in my opinion anyway. Obi-Wan is paired up with him because they kind of come together as a sort of enemy pair, if that makes sense. But also we have seen Grievous in the game files for Battlefront 2 already as well as a 3D model which was in the game files so it's more than likely going to happen that we will get General Grievous as a hero in Battlefront 2 at some point. As for Obi-Wan Kenobi though there is no sign of Obi-Wan at the moment but it only makes sense to pair the two up in a season and they did fight in Revenge of the Sith specifically and Obi-Wan did actually kill Grievous in the movie so it makes sense in my mind, to bring those two into Battlefront 2 together. They are highly requested heroes, so the sooner EA and DICE put Obi-Wan and Grievous into Battlefront 2, the happier a lot of people will be. In terms of planets and maps, I think it would make sense to bring Utapau to the game, since this is in the movie where Obi-Wan and Grievous fought and obviously Grievous was killed. The map could also be pretty interesting and bring new playstyles to the game, as the sort of planet is very vertical, it would have a lot of verticality to it, like we've seen in the film. And it would mean people who had the jump troopers and heroes who could jump far could maybe get up to high vantage points and take control of the map more. I just think it would add interesting player styles to have a more vertical map rather than a horizontal map where you just run forward and hide behind cover. On Utapau, I imagine you would have to jump up levels and then maybe there would be different passages leading you around up there or sort of barriers you can stand on and things like that. It could be quite cool. In terms of Starfighter Assault maps and locations, I think we could see the battle above Coruscant from Revenge of the Sith in this season, which would be pretty interesting because of how intense the fight actually looks within the movie. There's a lot of capital ships within the sort of battle and there are a lot of normal ships as well so maybe the player count could be increased for this map or this season or something like that and it could also introduce the ability to board capital ships into Starfighter Assault which is unlikely that we will see that in Battlefront 2 but you do never know it would be the perfect map to do it in because like I said there's so many capital ships within this sort of sequence within the movie so if it was going to be a map or a battle within the game, you'd expect it to have a lot of capital ships as well, maybe that you could board. In terms of hero ships for a Revenge of the Sith DLC season, I think we could see ships for General Grievous and Obi-Wan. So you'd end up with Grievous's Soulless One and Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, or more specifically his ETA-2 Arctis class interceptor. So it ties in with the Revenge of the Sith time period. I would love to see a Revenge of the Sith DLC personally. I can't wait to get Obi-Wan Kenobi in the game. He's a pretty key character throughout the whole Star Wars story, so to not have him there at the moment does suck a little bit, but it doesn't ruin the game for me, and it's the same with Grievous. I think he's the best prequel-era villain, apart from Maul, obviously. 
So to not have him in the game is kind of a bad representation of the prequel era in my opinion. Maul is very good, but at the same time Grievous is freaking awesome. He's got four lightsabers, so I would like to see him there at some point. But like I said at the start of this video, I want to hear your opinions. Do you want to see a Revenge of the Sith DLC season? If so, let me know what you would want in it. And if not, make sure to tell me what DLC seasons you would like to see. Make sure to smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance. Be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. Other than that, may the Force be with you.